Okay, I'm pretty sure I made this video before, but I think I accidentally deleted it, so here we go again. Alright, now, there's one major weakness of this deck. It has only one trap card. So, um, the purpose is to basically swarm, one turn, and OTK. Pretty much anything is, um, all monsters are searchable, all of them. If it's not by a card in your deck, it's by effect of um, a monster. So you have access to every single one of your monsters. That's good. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, you have some protection in the form of magic cards, but it's not like um, not as good as traps. So I'm gonna start with the monsters. Debris dragon. Now this you use it to pretty much get back Phalanxy Poo. Because um, that's the only target you have for this deck, really, and like uh, you can you can special Miss Latang when you do that. The Red Dragon grab for Lanks from the graveyard. Tribute special Miss Latang effect uh, equip for Lanks from the graveyard special, and then you can go into like Trident or something. So um, okay, the Red Dragon, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Zephyros. Achilles, I believe that sounds better, therefore I pronounce it as such. Dark Spear, Brandy Stock, and um, Corsesco. Two Legionnaire. Now, the reason why I don't have two of the other low-level tuners for Dragoonerdies is because, uh, you know, they each have good effects, these. Because, like, uh, if you have Adriana out, and it's pretty beefy, and you use its effect, and then stacks with other cards, then uh, you can attack twice, and you can wipe out your opponent one turn just like that, with Brandy Stock and uh, Vajrayana. Dark Spear is nice to, um, to have more options, that's why he's there. You can special it from the deck with, like, Autumn... And then tribute special um, wing of beast from the graveyard if you need, and then sink into a six or something like that. <coughs> or you can go into um, a rank four. All right, main ones: Phalanxy Poo, Ducks. Now, there's three three of these. Uh, Tef knew it because um, it helps you get your... Uh, it increases your chances of getting your, your first turn playoff. Um, as well as Miss Latane. Because Tef knew it's basically like a cyber dragon. Except um, it can't attack the turn that uses its effect to special summon it. It's level 6 and it's a dragon. So that's why you need it. Level 6s are key in this deck. On to uh, the only trap card, Mirror Force, OP, Dark Hole, Terraforming, Lance, MST, Divine Lance. Now the three for consistency. Let's say um, your ravines get popped. You play one of these guys. Your monster has a boosted attack based on its level times 100. It's um, unaffected by traps, full immunity for traps for that monster. And you can search out and equip um, search out and equip a Dragoonity, a low level Dragoonity, let me see. Yeah, Dragon type Dragoonity tuner. So you can search out one of those and equip it straight from the deck. And let's say for Langsy Poo, then you can um, easily go into your plays that way. Cards of Consonants, you have any of the, the low-level low Dragoonity Tuners, you want them in your graveyard. So, that's a plus for you. You drop it to the grave, and then plus two. Increases chances. Raigeki. Ravine. You can use it to send um, Phalanx straight to the graveyard, or uh, you can toss a tuner to the graveyard and then search out like ducks or something. And then 
two of these again for consistency so you can hurry up and search out Tef Nuit. So this is one, two, those three cards, five. That's five, and then Miss Latane, eight cards for helping you getting, um, you're pretty much going to get out like a level six. Like you have a pretty good chance getting that out first turn, if not second. And if you can't for some reason, then you can um, sink. But I didn't talk uh, that much about this. Um, Corsesco, it's um, consistency. It um, makes the deck better, I believe, because um, let's say you send it to the graveyard. You search out ducks with um, with Ravine, of course. Um, you can't get to Phalanx, or you just wanted to do this for consistency, whatever, because stuff's in here. I mixed it up like the way I did, so you don't have the same exact play, and that's it. With all these monsters, you have good plays, different ones, and uh, your opponent won't know exactly, you know, what you're doing. I mean, for the most part, yeah, Swarm Kill, but it's not exactly the same. You do it different ways, or you can just get um, Ducks beefed up with Divine Lance and a bunch of uh, Equips. So he could be like, at, let's say, just an estimate, like 3,300, full immunity to traps, can attack twice, Randy stock, and uh, every time that monster destroys a monster by battle, this one, when he's equipped, you get the effect that you can search out the monster that it's equipped to the same type and attribute. So if this is equipped to um, Miss Latane, you can search out a Wind Dragon. And pretty much everything is a Wind Dragon. There are a few exceptions, like uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Debris Dragon is a Wind, wind Dragon. Um, Zephyros is Winged Beast, but let me see. No, he's dark. But yeah, you can search out your Dragoonities and pretty much everything. Uh, Tef knew it's light, but everything's pretty much, you know, spot on. So there's that. And, alright, going into the extra deck, but before I do some stuff that's not in here, uh, Samsara didn't seem to work all that well, took it out. I'm thinking about incorporating this because it happens a lot with this deck, the black and white wave. And um, also thinking about Guy Bolg, I hope you pronounce that, because um, like when you're facing uh, Cockwings, aka Blackwings, uh, they drop Kalut. Or another one, and they stack, I think. So if you have this guy out, that can help you at least take less damage. So that's good. The only rank 4, Dark Rebellion. I think this card is extremely underrated. Topster Beyond. As soon as you special him to the field, all your opponent's monsters that are on the field currently, attacks are zero. That's permanent, not till the end phase. King Autumn, key card. I think um, one Thunder Charger will suffice. And um, it depends on what you're doing, but this is in here because, like I said, um, you have different things you can do. Not exactly the exact same play, and that's it. If something happens, you're screwed. You have multiple plays. Uh, Gustav Max. You can get out Red Eyes and Trident in the first turn, depending on what you have, I believe. And then... Um, you can pretty much, like if you get out Trident and Red Eyes in one turn, let's assume that you get off Trident's effect. You, you can attack three times, then Red Eyes, overlay to Gustav Max Detach 2000. That's more than enough, so that's always good. Uh, Catastor, it's a safe play if you're fighting something that's not dark. Guy Deer, this is a really good one. Helps you get out um, Searcher Zephyros. Mm. Iron Train, because I don't know. Did I say Train or Chain? Iron Chain. Anyways, um, I don't know what, what else to put, for, so just there he is for another, for six. Uh, two Vajrayana. It was at three, but I cut it to two. Um, level eights are always good, but I just stick with these. Uh, you can do Stardust Spark 2. That's a pretty good one. Just have Stardust... Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend and uh, Scrap Dragon. And then, of course, I just call it Trident Dragon. I know there's an I there, but I'm just gonna ignore that and call it Trident Dragon. So, 
So this is um actually my strongest deck right now. Cause like I don't I don't count Exodia because that's hit and miss. But this is a pretty good deck. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very fun. Most cards are pretty cheap. Like I think even Ducks, even though he's the main card, it's like a dollar or two for the the secret. Uh, Phalanx is more expensive. He's, um, I think, like six or seven. Maybe it went up or down. And then um, Divine Lance should be under a dollar. Cards of Continence, no idea. Ravine, I'm guessing like five, the supers. Um, Tefnoet super shouldn't be that much. Zephyros. Darkness Metal, because it's secret, it's worth more, but if you get a common, that's fine, you know, it doesn't have to be all rare. So, it's uh, relatively cheap. The, the extra deck, it can start to add up. Utopia Beyond, not that much. Dark Rebellion, I don't know. King Autumn, I want to say like 10 each. Thunder Charger, like the same, maybe more. Gustav Max, Catastor, nothing. Gaidir, like 20. Iron Chain, maybe a dollar. Adriano, three piece, Stardust, I don't know, a dollar or two, maybe the rest for these, uh, maybe four or five for Scrap, and I don't know for Dragon, but it's a really fun deck, and I like it. Um, since you special summon, you can, you're able to special summon a, a lot in one turn with this deck. My friends take what they call the Max C Challenge, so when we play, they drop Max C and see how much they can draw on that one turn because of, you know, all the special summoning I'm doing. And um, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, the AI went as high as, I think, 20 special summons? I mean, yeah, I did 20 special summons, so that's how many cards they drew. And they weren't at the same time, so, yeah, it's uh, obviously. So it was one monster at a time, that's why they drew 20. And that's just because I messed up, otherwise it could have been, like, at least 22. And so, let me make sure this is all shuffled, not just go through, like, a practice run right here. This is something I don't think I've I regular doing like my videos. It's not a regular thing, so I'm gonna shuffle it up good. Shuffle all this. Okay. Now you can you can see everything is pretty mixed up, pretty good, right? Yeah, for the most part, everything's. Mixed up pretty good. And now since I saw that, I'm going to shuffle again. Alright. Draw four, five. Um, determine who goes first. Your opponent says, oh, you, know, you can go first. Um, they, they said they want to go first. I'm like, okay. Do nothing. My turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Terraforming. I'm going to search out Ravine. Um, notice they have a back card. I'm going to play MST. Now Ravine's in my hand. I did not play it. Not yet. Okay. I'm going to shuffle. No, no. No. Now I have options here because I have in my hand the following. So I think I think I'm gonna toss the uh, Legionnaire. So I'm gonna activate Ravine and then um, use the effect toss Legionnaire and uh, I'm gonna send Phalanxy Poo to the graveyard. So Phalanxy Poo, graveyard. And I'm not gonna shuffle. Not yet. I'm going to play Ducks. Grab Phalanxy Poo. Equip. Special. Oops. Special. Drop the card. Alright. Four. Two is six. I'm gonna sink. Now, because I do not have Zephyros in my hand, or and it's not in the graveyard. I'm going into Guy Deer. Special summon. Synchro summon. Special it's a special summon, but it's also synchro. Um, effect. I'm gonna search out 
and drop Zephyros. Add it to your hand first, and then I'm going to choose to drop it. All right, and then um, I'm going to equip Gaidirg with Divine Lance. Divine Lance effect. Search out and equip. Phalanxipu. That's in um Okay. Real quick. This is in my hand. This is in the graveyard. So I can special any of these because I have all the stuff I need for what I'm going into. Like with um I can go into King Autumn here pretty soon. And I can special Dark Spirit Tribute to get my winged beasts back. And obviously I wouldn't go for him because he can bring himself back. Even though it's once, that's all you need. And then uh, with Red Eyes, I can get um, Phalanx. So, as you can see, I have access to all my monsters, even though they're in the deck and graveyard. I can grab anything I want. So, I'm going to special Phalanxy Poo. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Let me see. If I banish Phalanx, I can special Red Eyes. Red Eyes effects special... Second Phalanx, uh, Zephyros, uh, return Ravine to my hand, take 400, special that, sync, or, hmm, let me see, yeah, I'm going to do that, so, banish Dragonity uh, Phalanx, special, Darkness Metal. Now you have these two on the field, Ravine and uh, Divine Lands attached to Gaidir. So I'm going to use Red Eyes Effect, special the other Phalanxy Poo. See, this one's uh, removed. And the Graveyard Phalanxy Poo. So special that one. And then I'm going to return um, Divine Lands to my hand with Zephyros' effect. Take 400 damage, special summon him to the field. So, um,. Now, I'm going to synchro using these two. And I'm going into Badriana. Lodge, Badge, whatever. And uh, using his effect, I'm going to equip Phalanxy Poo from the graveyard. And then um, I'm going to special Phalanx with his own effect. So I have Gaidir, Darkness Meadow, Vadriana, and Phalanx on the field right now. Phalanx is in defense, just in case it's like for some reason your opponent gets it to go off, it's pretty weak, so defense is always a safe play. Alright, now I'm going to overlay with these two. Now, you see, um, remember I didn't draw any of my sixes earlier? No uh, Miss Latanes, three copies of that. Heretic Seal two of those, and Tef knew it. I didn't get one of those eight cards. I didn't get any of them. So I had to make them. I could make um, two level sixes with what I had. So that's good. So those cards help you increase your chances, but if not, I just had a good hand. So I was able to make my own sixes instead of just um, summoning ones from my hand. So that's good. And um, I'm going to overlay into King Autumn. Now, I always detach a guy Deerg. Because, um, Vajrayana, you only get that effect, um, when it's, uh, Synchro Summoned. So, if I detach and then Special Summon him again, like this turn, then I'd be able to get that effect again to search and drop from the deck. So, it's always a safer play. Detach. Now, I can Special, uh, a 6. See, I can go into one of my sixes now. I didn't draw them, but I can go into a Miss Latane, a Tef knew it. And if I do that, then um, I could synchro into a, a rank 8. Let's see, what are my rank 8s? I could go into Scrap and then Pop Ravine to pop a, um, a card my opponent has, if any. Stardust for protection. And then overlay, um, what's it called? Thunder Charger on King Autumn. So... You'd be able to attack, you get piercing, and then darkness metal, and then um, stardust. But 
that's not 8,000, but that's pretty close. So, I think I'm going to stay away from the from those plays, the, the level 6s. I don't want to get another tuner because I have a 10, a rank 6, level 10 and 2. So, I'm going to go into Dark Spear. Special summon Dark Spear from the deck in defense mode with King Autumn's effect. Dark Spear's effect. Tribute itself. Get ducks. Special ducks. Now I'm going to sink with ducks and Phalanxipu into the second Bajrana. Bajrana. Bajrana effect. Grab Phalanxipu from the graveyard and equip it. Now, I could special summon Phalanxy Poo with his own effect and then um, sink into an 8 and all that, but that's pretty much what I was trying to avoid earlier. So, instead, I'm going to do this. I'm going to equip Vajrayana with this. And because I, I think um, Divine Lance is sort of like Maiden, if you use that effect uh, one turn, even if you have a second one or... It leaves the field and you play it back again. You can't search out another Dragoonity and equip it from the deck same turn. You can only use it once period, I believe. So, that effect's gone. I already used it for this turn. So I'm going to use Vajrayana's effect now. I'm going to pop Phalanxy Poo and double his attack. Now, because um, this card gives him 100 times his level. So his attack is 19 originally. Plus 6, that's 25. He's at 25, full immunity to traps, and then his effect, pop for lengths to double, so he's at 5,000. 5,000, um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, 28. And then um, King Autumn can't attack this turn because they use that effect, so you go into Thunder Charger. Now, the good thing about that is it gets piercing, so if they had something there like one monster defense mode, let's say it was just something with. I mean, this is probably never going to be the case nowadays in like when meta decks and all that. But let's say it's a level Z, level zero. It's a zero defense monster that's normal. Something like that. You attack it. Oh, they take the full damage because you attacked with um, Thunder Charger. 26, then Red Eyes attacks. 28, then Vajrayana, 5,000. That's game. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is a pretty good deck, and that was. Um, a lot they went into. Vajrayana equipped with Divine Lance. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And then Thunder Charger with uh, King Autumn and Vajrayana as uh, the material. And Black and White Wave. There's a Synchro Monster on the field. Uh, face up XYZ Monster on the field with a Synchro Monster as XYZ material. This one does, has Synchro. Oops, let me just get it out so you can see it more. There you go. Then, target one card on the field, banish that target, opponent's card. <laughs> and if you do, draw a card. So it's not bad, and, um, you know, that could be good for this deck, but I believe it's already at 40. I don't think it's over that. Let me just count real quick. The extra deck is at 15. That's why there's, um, the third Vajana was cut. Guy, was it? Guy Bulg. And then Samsara, it just was not a big help. The people I play against have, um, they say, big egos or a lot of pride, so they will not attack it or destroy it or anything just because like they don't want me to get that. Other people are probably more easygoing. Not douchey, but... Alright, so, let me see. Oh, and um, how many cards did I go through? One, two, three, not including extra deck. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards, one turn. That's it. 11 cards. That's all I went through. That was enough to OTK. You have that potential. An extra deck that was Guy Dirg, Vajuena, times 2, Erratic, uh, Dragon King of Bottom, Thunder Charger, and that was it. So, went into these five. Alright, now to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yes, this is the 40 card deck. And, you know, you can change it up and see what works better for you. Or, you know, if you want to play for fun, it doesn't have to be so competitive. But I like this deck a lot. So that's just an example of your OTK potential. There's different plays. Like, I was able to do it like that because I had Red Eyes in my hand. I had the Divine Lance. I had uh, Ravine. I didn't have any um, any level 6s in my hand. I didn't draw into a single one, and I didn't need them. I needed level 6s, but not the ones that were in my deck. The ones uh, in my extra deck. Those um, I needed those because I didn't draw the 6s, so that's good. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know there's like people that have uh, Dragoonity Harpy decks, it's like a hybrid, but I didn't want to go that route, and I think this is uh, this is pretty much the best one for me that I like, so that's this is just how I decided to do it. Um, I, I think I had Reckless Greed in there, like starting off like triple Reckless Greed, but it just was not panning out, so this setup is much more consistent gives you um, different plays and uh, just opens up your options a lot so thanks for watching